Talk a little bit about this evolution around how you've thought about your voice, how you've developed it, and what it means in in this moment in time as we've navigated uh, the past year. Yes. So typically my audience is a little bit younger. Um, It usually ranges from about five years old till my age, 23 and older, but most of my audience is very young. So I didn't want to kind of bombard their social media or news stations or whatever with things that aren't typically talked about in the gym world. Um, But then I found out, you know what, I am a young adult and I can speak up for what I believe in. And if I can be a voice for the voiceless, then that's what I need to do because this year has been very eye opening. So I think we are all blessed to have the platforms that we do so we can speak up on what needs to happen, what needs to be better. Yes, at the end of the day, we're an athlete, but then we're also a human being and we see the news just like you guys. So why can't we speak on it? We're not professional activists or anything like that, but we have a sense of what is right and wrong in the world and we're allowed to express that. That's why we have freedom of speech. I've always said take um, take it one day at a time. And I think that's helped me stay sane on all of those levels in and out of the gym. Because if I focus on one day at a time, then I don't get too wrapped up in it. But I feel like over the past five years, I've grown a lot more confident in myself and who I am as a person. So that's why I'm able to use my platforms and do interviews and speak out because I truly believe that I'm helping other people find your joy outside of your sport or your work so that that's not the only thing you're relying on to fill your tank because outside you're going to need to fill your tank so that you can go into your job and do the best that you can do. So that's why, um, yes, in the gym, I put a hundred percent effort, but then whenever I go home, I kind of try to leave work at home. I'm at work at the gym and then do whatever I need to do at home. Um, And I think everybody can learn from that just so that you're filling your tank up so that when you go back in, you're performing your best. No dream is too big. So remember to write down your goals because you always see the bigger picture in the end, but there are little puzzle pieces that will fit into that bigger piece that you need to navigate. And that's why I've done so well over the years is yes, I have a big goal at the end, but I need to do the little steps to get there. What's one piece of advice you would give to others around rebuilding stronger and harnessing these difficulties to create something better in your own life? I would say don't focus on the negative in your life. Focus on the positive because that will really bring you off your feet and keep you moving forward rather than when you focus on the bad in the world, you just also have to focus on the good. And that's what keeps me going and keeps me positive. And I just try to live by that. 